Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have my FabFitFun Fall 2019 edit sale order here. It just arrived so I set up. I didn't even really do anything to make myself look better. So this is what you're getting and I don't think that's what you really care about anyway. So most of the stuff in here is Christmas presents. I'm just gonna dive right in. I've gotten pretty good after a year of being a member. I've gotten pretty good at not overspending on stuff I don't really need for these sales. I'm trying to allow myself maybe two things that I don't really need per sale. We do have a little bit of a issue with a whole lot of Packing, but it's this is just so bad. This isn't so bad. There was one sale where the boxes were huge and there were like two things in it. So this is what it looks like. This is everything that's in here. I off the top of my head, I think I spent two hundred dollars a little more, and after taxes, it turned out to like two hundred and thirty dollars. And almost everything is in here. There are two things that I ordered that aren't in here. One of them is a cleanser that I had ordered that's not in here, and then another one is I actually got a style item, and that was the pea coat. I did spring for the pea coat. I figured $20 wasn't too much of a gamble, so when that comes, I will show you guys what that looks like. It was a sweatshirt that was designed to look like a pea coat, and that I just couldn't help myself. So the first things, now these were highly recommended, and they feel really, really, really soft. I think I paid like $11 for each of these, so that's about how much they cost at Costco. But looking at them, you can get some things like this at Costco right now. They have ones with like cute little bunny details on them that are really darling. Anyway, so I maxed out on these because um, some people, uh, actually several people said that they were amazing. Lauren, hi Lauren. Uh, Lauren's a friend that I've met through YouTube and FabFitFun and everything and she loves these. So I maxed out. I'm giving one of each of these to my um, coworkers. I have three staff at my job and so I'm gonna give each of them one of these and then I have some other gifts in here for them as well. Actually, one of them is gonna get the Ahaba bath salts plus this and then, um, so I already have those. Let's see, what am I doing here? Do I wanna throw these on the floor? Oh, I'll throw them on the packaging. So um, one, of my, one of my coworkers is getting one of these and the Ahaba bath salts and then I have a couple gifts in here uh, that I will show you as, as I go through. I feel kind of scatterbrained. I think it's because I'm just really excited that it's here. This came quickly, so that's really nice. I also maxed out on these, so they're the same thing, just a different design. One's for me and one is for my husband, so we're gonna match and it's gonna be so cute. And then the third one is, I still haven't decided whom I'm going to gift it to for Christmas, but it will go to somebody for Christmas. So two of these are, one's for me, one's for my husband. So I definitely bought a lot of those socks and that is what took up most of the room in here. I bought the shower cap. I actually could really use this and I thought it was super darling. I, when I wear my hair like this, when I shower in the morning, um, I my hair often turns out to be like, a little bit curly around, you know, shower caps. You, you know what they're for. So I will definitely get used to that out of this. And I was so excited to see it in the sale. I thought, oh yeah, absolutely, that's for me. So let's see, I'm gonna put it on. Oh, it doesn't smell bad. It does smell like out of the factory, but it's not like overwhelming plastic -y. At first I was like, oh gosh, I hope it doesn't smell because I smelled something. Okay, that's a good look. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so this is one of the cleansers I got. I got a second cleanser that I mentioned is not uh, included in the shipment that will hopefully ship soon. This is the other cleanser that I got. It's the Nuria Defend Gentle Exfoliator, and this is a gentle exfoliator. And this is a chemical exfoliator. I believe it had glycolic acid in it, made without microbeads, parabens, sulfates, phthalates. So this is a K-Beauty product. It looked like a really intriguing brand. It didn't have a whole lot of reviews. A lot of the products that were available in the sale didn't have a whole lot of reviews. But I need cleanser. I'm running low on cleanser. I just gave away one that I talked about in an empties video that I did recently that I had gotten from a FabFitFun sale. I think it, it was the fall. It was the fall add-on sale that I got it. It was a Terramare cleanser and I really didn't like it, so I'm donating it. Um, but I am excited to try this one. So the reason I got two is they both do two different things. So this is a glycolic cleanser. 
The other one is more geared toward acne, and so I thought, I don't, I don't suffer from acne, but I get breakouts, and especially because I'm pregnant now, I am getting more breakouts. So I can use one in the morning, the acne one in the morning, and perhaps this one at night. I wash my face twice a day. I have read that some people say that you shouldn't, but I tried not doing that, and I did not like it. <laughs> so let's see if this is sealed, or if I can smell it. It's sealed, so if you're new to my channel, I do reviews on the products that I use from FabFitFun, so I will let you know what I think of this when I get around to using this. I might as well just put it in my shower, because I'm about to run out of the one that's in my shower pretty soon here. Oh, so this one was pricey, but it had tons and tons of really amazing reviews. It's the Anne Marie Wild Fruit Serum. So many reviews. I think it was 286 five-star reviews on their site. I, um, I actually need a morning serum, so I might go ahead and use this in the morning. So let me see if this is open. This was $29. It smells fruity, it smells good, it looks green. Yeah, it has like a subtle, subtle fruity sm smell. Subtle fruity smell. Gosh darn it. <laughs> and lemon. I don't do well with lemon verbena. Pledge ruined me. I used to have to dust when I was a kid. That was my chore. And I used lemon pledge. And I guess it ruined me. I will still use this. I mean, it was very expensive. Supposedly it's amazing, but Gosh darn it, I experience that so frequently where there's a really good product and it smells like lemon verbena and I'm like, mmm. Okay, so I got two of the Kalos night creams. I have this little sample of it that I got in a Pediver box a couple of months ago and I've been using it since I saw it was available in the sale. This little sample size is lasting me a long time. I started using it at the beginning of the sale and there's, I still have that much left so I've been using it for a few weeks now. It's a good size sample. So it lasts um, It lasts a while and I got two. So one of my coworkers is getting one of these and then there's another one. I might keep it for myself or if I need a gift for another woman in my life, I might give it to them for Christmas. We'll see how that works out. But if not, I will keep it for myself as a backup. I got this Kate Spade uh, tote, shopping tote. And um, I need to decide if I am going to gift this or not so I might leave it in this packaging but it's a shopping tote but it was it was a pricey shopping tote so it, but it's one of those nicer ones and it, the model was wearing it so it looked bigger I think that this might be good for my mother-in-law um, and people just get so impressed when they see the name Kate Spade and they get a gift with that name on it I think that I might give this to her for Christmas I got the pistache hand cream I'm running out of hand cream at work see I'm so proud of myself I bought things that I could really use that I need. There are only a few more things in here. Let's give this a try. If it smells like lemon, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Not really. So this is what it looks like. I only was intrigued by this because I had heard Tati mention this brand before. Okay, so it has one of those things that you need to poke, but then this cap doesn't have the poker. You know how usually the cap has the poker? So I'm gonna use my tweezers. It's kind of strange. Let's see. It's green, like pistachio. So it looks like that. Oh, what does that remind me of? I like the way it smelled initially, and I still do. There's something in my life that it reminds me of. It's not very strong, so that's great. I'll have to put my finger on it, but that's what it's like a sweet pistachio smell. I really like the AG hair care line, and I was really happy to see something in the sale by them. They make my favorite curl product my favorite curly hair product if you watch me at all you know i love this stuff this is the ag hair care recoil curl activator i love this stuff if you have curls or waves definitely try this out it's often on sale on ulta and the important thing is is that you put it in your hair when it's your hair is still very wet so don't make the mistake of thinking you're gonna put it in your almost dry hair or touch up your dry hair with it but Anyway, so this Rosehip Balm AG Hair Care started this natural line, so 
I bought one for myself to try and I bought another one for another my other my third coworker. I mentioned my coworkers and she has very long wavy hair, so I thought that she might like to try this. So that is for her for Christmas. This is for me. And then that's it. The last thing I have in here is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate. They must just have so many of these or something. I wonder why they did this. I I kind of think I have been seeing a lot of sales. I think I saw something like the fall box is now on sale for $29.99 or something. Like really, really cheap. And I'm thinking that they might they might just have like they have some stock they might need to push out the door. So I'm, I'm noticing Fabbit Funds doing stuff like this. Like this isn't a cheap. I'll flash across the screen how much this retails for, but I think it's something like eighty dollars. This this was a well liked a product when it was. I think it was in a box that everybody got before I joined, and I've heard so much about it. I avoid buying Kate Somerville products because I'm working on being cruelty free as strictly as I possibly can, and even lately I'm starting to think maybe I should try to even go vegan with my um, beauty products, but it's owned by a company. This is owned by Estee Lauder, I believe. So Estee Lauder is not cruelty free. So that's why I don't buy Kate Somerville products, but now I've been given one. So I will likely try this out. I don't know. Maybe I'll also gift this one. We'll see. We'll see what I decide to do. So that's everything that I got in my box. I did pretty good. Um, like I said, most of it was most of it was Christmas gifts. Now, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I'm thinking about putting together a giveaway pretty soon. Introduce yourself in the comments below. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!